people presenting solutions everywhere, be it through the political circus, spiritual leaders, to more progressive movements offering self-sustainable solutions, many people seem to have a plan of how to fix the world. Others say all is just as it's supposed to be, and all we need to do is go with the flow, focus on love and light, and everything will be good. Visionary ideas are good and great to have, however, hopes based on ideals can shatter into nothingness if there is no foundation to build it on. The popular notion is that we must do, act or vote, and it seems most folks want just someone to tell them what to do, so they don't have to think too much on their own. The question is, what are we really able to do if we don't even know ourselves? What is humanity? Yes, we are all one. But are we all truly the same inside, seeing, thinking, feeling the same way? Who is to say what is good for the world and what is not? The issues the world faces, the destruction, greed, genocide, economic meltdown, cannot and will not be resolved until man faces himself and does the work to gain self-knowledge beyond worship of the ego. Humanity is deeply conditioned through culture, society, religion, media, nationalism, education, government, and all kinds of illusionary beliefs. Before we can offer any solutions, we need to become aware of this conditioning and do the work necessary to truly understand ourselves with our mechanical reactive behaviors, emotional addictions, and our biases to automatically reject information that conflicts with our worldview. Honest self-work takes effort and courage as one will have to confront the social conditioning and programming as well as the lies one is telling oneself in order to fit in. If one is sincere with oneself, this process will lead inevitably to confront the lies in the world, and one starts to see the world more as it is, not as one likes it or assumes it to be. This results in a rise of consciousness and awareness, moving from subjectivity to a more objective view, letting go of the false conditioned self and embracing one's higher self based on truth, knowledge and essentially love, which is a higher state of being and not merely an emotional state. The more we see ourselves and the world objectively, the wiser our choices become and our resulting actions will have lasting positive impact. This work is to be done within and without, for both are interconnected. Much like when Neo woke up in the film The Matrix, the view is not necessarily pleasant once the illusions, buffers and programs have been dislodged. Only truth will set us free. Once we can see, especially the unpleasant aspects of our reality, so many people like to ignore, we'll have a better understanding of what to do. The necessity to know thyself has been transmitted through many wise men and ancient teachings throughout the world for thousands of years. However, the depth of these teachings and the required work to attain a higher state of consciousness has been distorted and watered down in the New Age arena and conscious movements these days, some of it even deliberate in order to steer people away from truth. Disinformation is used by the powers that be to infiltrate not only political parties and progressive organizations, but also the New Age movement. Religion has been used to control society for ages. The New Age movement, with its many distorted teachings, seems to become the new global religion, vectoring people into complacency and conformity with an oversimplified understanding of we are all one or all you need is love. Many people already believe that they are awake and aware, yet they are merely dreaming to be awake. As a matter of fact, what we see nowadays in the New Age is similar to followers of dogmatic religions, blind belief, wishful thinking, emotional projections, and lack of critical thinking. Effective disinformation always contains a good amount of truth to lure the seeker in, but enough lies to steer the person away and keep them in a subjective tunnel vision. The same can be said about the many self-help gurus out there and many others who claim to know the way to happiness and abundance, they are here to help you help yourself, giving techniques of how to attract and manifest money, a fulfilling relationship, the perfect job, lover, and so on. 
while they make millions of the desperation of the people who seek happiness and a way out. When looking deeper into some of the self-help teachings, one can see that they mostly appeal to the ego with its conditioned desires and buffers. They promote and push to follow desire without truly trying to understand where they come from to begin with. In a sense, what is sold today as spirituality and self-work is quite the opposite of what the classical esoteric traditions have passed down. It is more an escape, another buffer to stop seeing the world and oneself as it is. True self-work is not a walk in the park or about manifesting one's desires. That is not to say that all prominent authors and teachers are misleading in purpose. They themselves can be duped and spread disinformation unknowingly, even if their intent is well meant. Most of them have more knowledge about marketing and selling themselves than understanding of spiritual work. It's not black and white, but lies are mixed with truth, so discernment is key. The truth about our world and humanity has been suppressed for thousands of years, and it certainly won't be revealed on Oprah anytime soon. The necessity to seek truth in oneself in the world and act upon it has to come from oneself. No one can do it for another and no one can push another to do it until man himself realizes the precious times we live in. Free will is not really free as long as man acts from his conditioned personality. People who don't know themselves will continue to live in a self-inflicted prison. A prison without bars and walls, cherishing their leaders as saviors like in the global Stockholm Syndrome worshipping and defending the ones who keep them imprisoned. They become tools for the matrix, thinking that they are free, but they're merely reacting mechanically to external influences and accumulated conditioning. No change is going to happen by simply forwarding the newest conspiracy videos, questionable New Age teachings and dubious channeled material, meditating on love and light, striving for sustainable solutions or just protesting with some banners and slogans. Yes, some of it can trigger and plant seeds of awareness, but ultimately, change happens only if we change and separate lies from truth within and without. Only then will we be able to see the world as it is, without filters of denial, wishful thinking, false hopes and misperceptions because of our corrupted state of being. In order to see the truth in the world, we need to see the truth in ourselves and stop lying to ourselves. Only then will we be able to know what to do and act upon it.
During this time of transition, there is an awakening happening, no doubt. However, we are also in the age of deception, and if people don't know themselves, they will mistake reality for illusion and illusion for reality. The term awakening needs to be carefully looked at, because people can awaken to merely another form of illusion and dream of waking up while still being asleep. On the other hand, self-work can easily turn into a narcissistic activity if one is too absorbed with oneself or has no network that can give objective feedback and mirroring. The solutions presented by various conscious movements these days and other people who have good intentions are not bad in themselves. However, by leaving out the necessary deeper self-work that is needed to truly be the change, nothing will change fundamentally, and so many of those solutions become just castles in the air. It is also the prerequisite to seek truth in the world, for one's perception needs to be clear in order to discern lies from truth. Honest self-work goes hand in hand with looking at global issues that seem to be ignored by many self-proclaimed conscious people who want a better world. Be it 9-11, Zionism, psychopathy and panerology, the UFO phenomena, and many other secrets present and past, there is still much we have to come to terms with before any form of golden age is going to manifest. Suppression of knowledge is the name of the game. There are traps and dead ends on the path towards awakening, and there are forces that do their best to keep humanity asleep. It is no coincidence that much of this crucial esoteric knowledge has been filtered out and is hard to come by in today's spiritual, conscious and new age movements. Knowledge protects. Ignorance and dangers.